at school, we often associate mindfulness as a lesson after lunch where we calm down our minds and cool off our bodies. To be mindful is to be present, and this can be easier said than done. To be present is to be free of all your worries and thoughts that distract your attention. By doing a calming activity such as drawing, reading or listening, you can absorb yourself and hopefully let go of all your other thoughts. I want you to now imagine that your thoughts are like bubbles in your mind. They can sometimes drift in and out. You can have one at a time or many at once. They can quickly pop and disappear. Thoughts can be about all kinds of things, such as your family, your school life, or even food you want to eat. And these thoughts can bring along so many feelings. Sometimes you can feel happiness, perhaps when you're thinking about playing with cousins, or even worry if you're a little bit stressed that you can't do something for your homework. It could be hunger when you're thinking about your favorite fruits. These feelings can sometimes become too much, so acknowledging them and learning to let them drift by can help you stay calm when life gets busy. Find an activity where you can fully submerge yourself and calm your mind is a wonderful tool to have. Take a few minutes and think about what makes you calm. Guided Relaxation Magic Bubble Blower Meditation by Melissa Demoy. Close your eyes and take in a very deep breath. Pretend your tummy is a balloon and as you inhale, make that balloon as big as you can. Now exhale and release it all. Let's do that again now. Inhale fully and make the balloon any color you want. Now as you do this, allow your arms and legs to get as floppy as a rag doll. Just let them get heavy and loose. All limp and relaxed. They feel so heavy, it's as if you don't even want to move them because they are just so very relaxed. Just allow your body to continue relaxing while we use our imaginations to picture something wonderful. In your mind, pretend you are pulling a big magical bubble blower out of your pocket. It looks like any bubble blower, but this one has real magic in it. It has been small in your pocket but as you pull it out, you realize it becomes enormous. It's a lot bigger than any bubble blower you have ever seen. Now, in your other hand, imagine you have a big bottle of magic bubble soap. Put the blower into the thick magic bubble liquid and get it nice and wet. Now you can start to blow through the bubble blower to make your gigantic bubble. As you do this, I want you to put any worry or fear you have about anything into that bubble.
just put it all in there. Then continue blowing the bubble until you think it's big enough. As you finish, watch how a very strong friendly wind comes along and carries your worry bubble far, far away. It carries it so far away that you'll never have to worry about that again. It's leaving now. Watch as it goes. You can blow up as many bubbles as you need to with your magical bubble blower. Put anything in there that is bothering you and watch as the wind carries the bubble far, far away. You can use this magic bubble blower whenever you need to, just by imagining it in your mind. I'll be quiet now so you can finish. <laughs>